Welcome everybody. Uh, this is Kev from the Audit Academy and Neil as well. And today we're just going to be talking to Stuart Lockery from Caledonian Learner Driver Training. And he's recently had some audit training from the Audit Academy for his training managers. Neil. Okay, Stuart. So we've we've got some questions for you then, obviously. Uh, firstly, can you tell us more information about Caledonian LDT? Yes, of course I can. Um, so we are a kind of regional driving school, I guess you would call us. We are based in Glasgow. We have um, just over 20 instructors in the kind of Glasgow area. We have instructors in Edinburgh and we have a few instructors in a couple of locations down in England as well. Um, and our main kind of our, our main gig is driving lessons, uh, manual and automatic, and driving instructor training. And we have three training managers um, who deliver the driving instructor training for us in Glasgow and Edinburgh. Fantastic. So, so what were the benefits for your company uh, to be audit registered? So. I, as you guys know, um, audit's gone through quite a lot of changes in, in, in the past couple of years. We used to be on the audit register, and I, I was audit registered for a couple of years. Um, I didn't renew audit because at that time we didn't deliver. We, 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 we were not delivering a lot of instructor training. Um, it was kind of maybe around about that time where the numbers were quite high on the register you know i think we hit about forty-four thousand instructors um employment figures in the country were high which kind of tends to mean that not a lot of people be are becoming driving instructors so at that time i just didn't feel that it was worth the money um th th there were other things that i was doing with the business at that time i didn't I, it wasn't a priority since then the driving school has has grown and the kind of marketplace has changed a lot. Um, coaching and client-centered learning, which you guys know all about, has kind of found its way into driving instructor training a lot more, um, a lot more effectively than it, than it was back then. So that sits easier with me. Um, it kind of makes more sense for my business concept because it now audit fits into the rest of my business in a way that it didn't before. It was kind of stapled onto the edge before um and obviously with the, the, the kind of growth of the driving school and the, the the kind of development of our own guys into trainers it's kind of a natural progression for us if we're looking after our, 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 our team to kind of help them develop so that's that's kind of where it is i guess i'm kind of conscious of the fact that i'm kind of rambling a little bit here but i think the, I think what I would, the, the way I would describe it is that audit has adapted and, and kind of grown into, a, 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 it's more in line with the values of our driving school now, whereas before it, it, it really wasn't. It was kind of an effort to get audit because you had to do things a little bit differently. Um, now it makes more sense. Okay, that, that's good. So what is the reason you wanted some of your managers trained on audit? Um, again, just as, as I just mentioned, for part of their development, you know, if 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 I was uh, a lot of people know my background is hotels. I use hotels quite a lot as an analogy. If I was a hotel manager and I had um, staff that I trained up and developed into management positions, I would be sending them on training courses to help their personal and professional development. Uh, there's only a few courses in our industry that kind of tick that box. I, I think, or a few CPD suppliers. There's, there's lots of CPD courses for driving instructors to help them develop their own skills. But for people who want to um, kind of become trainers, there's, there's not a lot out there. So it's, um, it's, it's one of the few things you can do um, for people like our training managers is to encourage them to formalize the training that they love don't get me wrong obviously i'm biased these i trained these guys to become instructors um and i trained them to become trainers so i think they're okay do you know i think they're, 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 not, they're not bad um but 
it's important for their development that they understand that they should always be looking for other trainers. You've always got to look around and, and go to the best people in the industry. And that's what, that's what we've tried to do. So I suppose this question follows on nicely from that. So how does um, our course that we deliver differ from other courses that you see? Um, I think it's a lot more in depth from what I've seen. It's the, do you know what you guys have done is you, you've obviously sat down and you've gone beyond the marking sheet. Um, do you know there's a lot of marking sheet courses out there for standards check part three and um, there's a couple for audit. We, we, we have a standards check marking sheet course ourselves and, and, and they can all be kind of quite similar. But what I really liked about the way that you guys pitched it um, when I spoke to you about it, when was that? six months ago maybe um it was was the level of detail that you were talking about getting into you know and even before you had finished writing your course you were talking about you know like assignments and all that kind of stuff and getting people to um kind of collaborate together and, and, and come up with plans and, and i really like that idea of it um and obviously knowing you too beforehand as well was, was a big part of it because i trust you um i knew that whatever you came up with would be tick, not only ticking the right boxes, um, but it would be um, delivered professionally. And, and that's, that's, that's what I was looking for. Okay, so uh, that's good as well. Thank you for that. Uh, did we meet your expectations then from the training you received or the guys received? Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. The, the feedback from the guys was, was really excellent. And I think they've sent that, that feedback to you. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. The call, and, and and I think what I know about you guys is the, the good thing is that you will take that feedback and you will go on and improve that course because that's you, you, uh, the same as we do with our instructor training course um, and, and other courses that we develop. You guys have come up with a course, and I know that that course isn't finished yet. And and who, the, the, the the instructors and the trainers who you go on to train, I know that it's only going to get better. So that's quite interesting. So how satisfied were you with the course that we delivered then? Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, it met expectations, satisfied, um, value for money, and the guys feel more confident about going for their audit tests now than they did before. Did what it said on the tin, Kev. Brilliant. <laughs> you can have that one, yeah. <laughs> So, so what did you most like about our services? Um, so again, the, the level of detail in the course, that kind of, when you're looking around for a course, you, uh, well, I do anyway, um, I kind of look beyond the kind of basic advertising blog because you know, I know a little bit about advertising myself. You've got to look a little bit under, under the cover, so to speak, and um, I kind of saw that you were trying to do something a little bit more in depth than what was already out there. Um, and the way that you personalise the kind of service to the guys, you know, you were really keen to, to kind of speak to the guys, get their own personal feedback, get ideas about what they were looking for from the course in a client-centred kind of way. Um, th these are important things when you're looking for training from anyone. If it's not personalised and it doesn't fit in with your values, then... Um, there's going to be a bit of a mismatch in expectations there, isn't there? Um, and, and we never had that mismatch. It was it was always on the same lines. Fantastic. Which is always good, I suppose. Absolutely. <laughs> That's what you Fantastic. want. Yeah. And this is quite an interesting question. I could get you to think a little bit. Um, how would you feel if you could no longer use us in the future? Well, that's not going to happen, is it? So it's kind of <laughs> theoretical. Um, I think... What you guys are doing is um, what all good businessmen do is you've identified a gap in the market um, and, and, and you're, you're trying to fill it. And um, now that doesn't mean that other people are not going to follow you into the market. And you guys know that as, as, as well as anyone. But how would I feel? I, I think I want, I want you guys to succeed with this course because I know you and because I know that you will deliver a good course. Um, if it doesn't work out for whatever reasons, um, I'll be on the phone to you nagging you about it because you're mates as well. Do you know it's, I, don't, I, I want you to succeed. Lovely. Good. 
So how likely are you to use our services in the future? Oh, oh, we will, Caledonian will definitely use your services in the future. We have, um, we, we have three training managers at the moment and our plans have, have been for a while and obviously COVID kind of puts paid to that. Our plans are to have maybe five or six audit trainers um, in, in, in different locations across the UK. Um, and we've kind of identified a couple of instructors within the organisation who could maybe go on and do something like that. So, yeah, um, if these people want to go on and become trainers with Caledonian and they want to go on and become audit registered, then we will use um, your, your product. And how likely are you to recommend us in the future to I, other people looking at the course? Highly likely, highly likely, yeah. Fantastic. Good. Thank you very much, Stuart. <laughs> yeah, like I say, thanks for the uh, time that you've uh, given up today, Stuart, to, to do this interview. So thank you. Happy to help, guys. Best of luck with the product going forward. Look forward to um, seeing how the journey keeps going. Lovely. Cheers, Stuart. Thank Cheers, you. Cheers, guys. Bye.